Well, actually, so let me kind of get, get this started. So in 2016, I think a lot of us, many of us were moved by Joe Biden's inspirational call for a cancer moonshot. Using that as a guidepost, a lot of us started to get together and ask the following questions. What if you're able to get together research laboratories throughout the world that actually want to capitalize on an emerging science of technology referred to as proteogenomics, which combines the power of genomics with next generation proteomics, a science, a field that has also been pioneered and proven by the National Cancer Institute's Clinical Proteomic Tumor Analysis Consortium, CPTAC, as a way of unraveling and shedding new light on the understanding of cancer. So, at the same time, within this vision, we would imagine that cancer types would be selected by each participating country, yet most significantly, all the data, we would place it in the public domain. The goal would be simple, and that is to develop a cancer atlas that is going to be reflective of the diversity of people with their cancers throughout the world. So next thing I know, I'm being asked by the White House Cancer Moonshot Task Force to implement such an effort. The very first country that signed on to this dream was Australia. Once we had Australia on board, we wanted to quickly expedite that process. Partnering now with the Human Proteome Organization, we went in a span of little of eight weeks from one country involving four institutions, now we're spanning eight countries involving 16 institutions. Now, this happened to have been September of 2016. Currently, we're in 2018. The big question becomes, so what has transpired since then? So this effort, this vision, is now officially referred to as the International Cancer Proteogenome Consortium. We call it ICPC. ICPC now spans 12 countries, and it involves 31 institutions, all collectively working together, coordinating their activities, and currently, we're conducting cancer research on over a dozen cancer types. Now, the question becomes, what have we transpired this past calendar year? I'm very proud to say that the very first data set that we released to the public took place in September of 2017. That happened to have been a data set involving oral cancer, released by our colleagues in Taiwan. Also, the past year, we welcomed three new members to our consortium, spanning two countries, one from South Korea, two from India. We also held a series of roundtable sessions within local municipalities to raise greater awareness to our cause. One was held in Australia, and more recently, we held one in Sweden. And at the same time, we piloted a student exchange training program. So lastly, let me leave you with this final thought. Cancer doesn't care what age you are, or what state you happen to live in, or where around the world you happen to reside. It has no borders. ICPC sees precision medicine as a team sport, one that brings together genomics and proteomics, and one that we believe maybe, just maybe, will also bring new hope for cancer patients. So please, we welcome you to join our global cause. Thank you very much.